Uh, my name is uh, Claire Peyre de Fabreg. I'm from France and I arrived here in UNAN in 2019. So I work for UNAN University for the Center for of Vertebrate Biology and um, I work mainly on dinosaurs and more specifically on one group of dinosaurs. So it's the fossils, the specimens that you can see here. Um, this is actually a pretty big one compared to some others. And so it's one of the oldest group of dinosaurs appeared around uh, 230 million years ago, uh, more or less. And so we know them up to 190 million years ago. And so this is a specimen discovered in Hunan. This is one specimen. This is another specimen here, a smaller one. Um, this one is studied, and so you can see a picture of it right here. So this is a reconstitution of that small skeleton over there. So it's a herbivorous dinosaur which lived during the Jurassic period. So about 190 million years ago, more or less. And you have another one here, which corresponds to another specimen, a juvenile, so a small one that was around one meter long, no more, and with a, a part of the skull that was discovered. That's here. Can you tell us the process of the uh, So actually for this specimen, uh, we weren't on the field uh, for the discovery because it was found by locals with a, a local guide who saw the the fossils and it is it's very small and it's just a few bones. Um, he just kept them and then uh, show, showed it to someone from Unan University. But it's not unfortunately our team who discovered on the field. <laughs> uh, when, you, when you first go to the university, um, I had to check it first to see if it was a dinosaur from my group. And so I was able to say that yes, it, it was one. And when we have a new fossil, it's always a bit the surprise at the beginning and a sense of expectation and discovery. So it's always something nice in our job. Um, and then I was really um, eager to find if it's actually a species that we already knew or not. Um, so, yeah, I'd say that was my first thoughts, maybe. Um, I would, so it could have a lot of meanings. I would say that the main one is that we don't have that many juvenile specimens um, or at least studied ones. And so it's really interesting in terms of growth and ontogeny uh, to have this kind of, of stuff because we have already some embryonic material. This one is in between and we also found adults. So it would be really interesting to have a like um, to be able to to see the growth stages of one species, yeah. 来到云南三年了，还习惯吗 ？At the beginning, it was a bit hard to get accustomed to Chinese、um, customs and habits, but little by little, I, I got in it, and now it's just fine. I would. Say that it's for several things.、Um, I wanted to discover something new. I wanted to see how life in China is, and I'm very glad I did actually. And it was also、uh, because I know that here they find a lot of fossils、uh, from the group I study. So it was、uh, for me,、um, my specialty being this group, a very interesting place to be. Um, I would say、uh, we've been working on a lot of local material from Yunnan, so, and we have published already、uh, four different papers. So for me, because it's、um, it's new stuff, new specimens, and new results for science. For me, it would be maybe prospecting, and when we don't find any fossil for maybe several hours or. We can get、um, a bit like disappointed, and and it can also we can also get bored. So I would say maybe that's the main difficulty for me, maybe lack of patience. <laughs> so 
On the field, we usually spend the whole day either prospecting or excavating. It's two different uh, activities. Sometimes we go and we decide like for one week we will be only prospecting. So we just walk around. We can uh, walk for miles in one day looking for fossils. So we just stare at the ground the whole time. And the other possibility, if we found something, is that we just settle, we stay in one place and we excavate, so we dig to get the bones out. Mm.那接下来在云南还有一些什么样的打算呢？尤其是围绕着你所从事的研究工作。um, so right now, we I am working with uh, several students on different material, some fossils, some bones, and also some footprints. Uh, but um, the main project will probably be the big specimen that you saw already, um, that we still have to study, see if it's a new species, and it will maybe be a new species and maybe one of the largest in Yunnan, so I'm looking forward to this. I would say maybe the environment, the mountains. I really like being in the mountains. It's the first time of my life that I live in the mountains and I really enjoy that. And um, the people that are really nice. And yeah, and also the, the fresh air, because we have really good air here, and, but it's also related to environment.